Welcome to Concept Learn. And next, how to store and use these insecticides? There are some precautionary measures or um, the measures which we have to follow in order to store and use these insecticides. The first one is the labeled insecticides which we have purchased from the fertilizer shops. They have to be stored in a cool and dry room and the room must be even locked so that it should not be reachable to that of a children. And before mixing of the insecticides, means before preparation of the insecticides for spraying in the field, they have to read the information regarding those within the label. And then according to they have recommended the doses, only those doses should be considered and those recommended dosage has to be mixed with water and then they have to go for further spraying. And even they should avoid spilling means while preparation or else uh, while uh, pouring that chemical into the spraying tank. So during such kind of the timings, they have to avoid the spilling of the spray fluid and they have to also regularly inspect the spraying equipment that is there must not be any damage and those um, uh, instruments must not get rusted. So such kind of the inspection uh, regarding those kind of issues, we have to go for the regular inspection of those equipment. And after usage of the chemicals, what we will be doing with the in, uh, insecticide bottles? Those empty insecticide bottles have to be destroyed and then they have to be immediately buried within the ground so that it should not be further used like uh, should not be used for a storage of other food materials or it should not be used for any other kind of the purpose. So such kind of the insecticide bottles have to be destroyed and buried immediately in the ground. And even after the spraying of the field, they have to take care that the cattle should not be entered into the field for grazing. So in this uh, picture regarding the safety measures for farmers while using insecticides, uh, we can get many information like do not transport food along with the insecticides because sometimes these insecticide residues or something it might contaminate the food and those contaminated food consumption leads to several diseases within the consuming organism. So we should not transport it along with the food stuff and those chemicals they have to be safeguarded under the lock and key and they should be even away from the children take care that children should not enter such kind of rooms and the insecticides whichever they are purchasing they should be purchased from a fertilizer shop in an original packets only and before usage they have to label or the leaflet in order to mix the recommended dosages and while spraying they are informed to wear the protective cloths such that their entire body should be covered and no part of the body should be exposed because even single part of the body is exposed. Uh, then the insecticide, there is a chance of insecticide entry through that body part. So it is very much necessary to wear protective cloths and uh, take care that entire body should be covered. And we need to take the recommended doses only by reading the leaflet. And here you can see in no case the farmer should mix the insecticides with his bare hand. He should always use either a stick in order to mix those chemicals within the water. And here you see, here he is using a cone tunnel. Here this cone tunnel avoids the spilling of the chemicals onto the ground. And see, should not, these containers should not be used for storing of such kind of the food materials. And they are advised to spray in a direction of the wind only because if the farmer is going the opposite side of the wind, then there is a chance that the insecticide might fall upon him only. It might direct towards himself. So it's always advised, it is important also, it is always advised that farmer should spray along the direction of the wind only. And the nozzle which we are uh, using for the spraying and it should not be blown with the help of the mouth and it is also not recommended to eat or drink while spraying and do not use these damaged sprayers or dusters and for that regular inspection of the 
spraying equipment must be done and immediately after spraying those contaminated clothes and even the body have to be washed with the plenty of water to get in order to get rid of the insecticidal residues upon the body or else upon the clothes used by the farmer and never arrange the children in order to spray these insecticides because it's very much harmful to the children when compared to that of the adults and even not only it's not recommended to eat during spraying but also do not place the food stuffs when the spraying is going on and before eating or the drinking they are recommended to thoroughly wash their hands before and in case in case of any emergency after the usage of the insecticide then it is recommended to call a doctor and show him the label or the leaflet which he has used used in order to go for the spraying and then advise to get a good treatment immediately in order to come out of the attack of the insecticides and these empty containers so that they should not be further used for the storage of the food materials they have to be broken like this means they have to be entirely crushed and then they have to be placed in ground as such take bath and wash the contaminated clothes after spraying immediately and it is very much important that we have to take precautions in order to prevent the environment and water pollution that is uh, avoiding the spilling of uh, chemical while mixing it can be helps to prevent the soil pollution and further do not uh, throw those empty containers or some uh, leftover insecticides into the water bodies or else uh, do not wash these containers near the water bodies so that the water pollution can be prevented and even keep warning boards in the field after spraying so that those persons who are getting their cattle to graze there uh, they'll just avoid the grazing such kind of the fields so these are the safety measures that are recommended usually